What's up guys, Dinobot here, Legend of Zelda time. Hey, have you uh, ever wanted to hunt down and kill guardians for fun and profit? Well, let me tell you exactly how to do it. Now as you can see, we're on the plains of Hyrule here, and uh, let me just dispose of this pesky Riga here, but you want to go to Hatena Village, walk into the lab, and visit Pura here. Now I've already done the upgrade, but she can upgrade your ruins, and if you upgrade your stasis ruin, well, you can have some fun. Let's, let's test it out on this guardian here. Oh, oh. You're stuck. And then, if you're not me, you actually connect, but, you know, freeze them so you don't get shot with a laser and hack their legs off. Now, I do recommend having the Master Sword for this because you can do some pretty significant damage to the Guardians with it, but pretty much any weapon that has a high attack will do. Just make sure that you pay attention to the cooldown for the Stasis Rune, and it doesn't hurt to have the Heroes Tunic equipped so you can see their HP. Now, I do have all the ruins, spoilers, from the various dungeons, but really the only one I actually used was uh, the extra lightning attack, and it's not really that powerful. Now, you will get a crap load of ancient parts, and you can either use these to buy things over at the other ancient lab, or you can just simply sell them for money, whatever you prefer. You know, if you're trying to buy your house, you know, farming ancient guardian parts is... Not really a bad idea. If you're hunting them, though, I would suggest that you do have Mipha's Blessing and a couple fairies in tow, because things can go kind of wrong when fighting guardians. It's just the way of things, folks. It is a Zelda game. You're not invincible, and this one's pretty fucking hard, so uh, come prepared, or, you know, you might regret the outcome. Now, make sure to chop the guardian's legs off first, as I'm doing here, because it limits their mobility and, well, it makes it harder for them to run away from you. Also, don't stand too close to them when they explode. Bad things will happen. Now, I am quite close to Hyrule Castle here, so there's a lot of other enemies rolling around, but anywhere you can find a Guardian, you can pretty much use this same tactic, so have fun. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, hey, like, subscribe, maybe hit that Patreon button.